In this video, I'm going to cover how to make YouTube captions with EGSub and YT Sub Converter. This is the most flexible caption creation method that I've found for YouTube videos and allows you to position your captions anywhere on the screen with different colors and fonts. The cost of this flexibility is that it's a two-step process to make the captions, but still not difficult. We need two bits of free software for this process. First, EGSub to make the captions, and then YT Subconverter to convert the captions to a format that YouTube understands. I'll leave links in the description to where you can download this software. I'm using EGSub version 3.2.2 and YT Subconverter version 1.6.0. First, I'll start EGSub just by double clicking the exe file. Now I'll load my video using load and open video. I'm going to use the template video that I've used in some of my other tutorials. The video is displayed on the top left, just my blank template video in this case. There's no sound on this video, but if there was sound, it would be shown here. The captions will be shown in a list here at the bottom and selecting a caption will allow you to edit the details here. The first thing I'll demonstrate is subtitle positions. I'll just make my caption text subtitle positions. You can set the start and finish times for the caption by adjusting the blue and red lines in the sound wave screen, or by directly typing the time here. I'm not sure why the text starts so small, but I'll adjust it by editing here. I'll just set the scale to 250 to get a reasonable size. OK, that's better. Now to set the position, I select the drag mode on the top left. When I do that, a little box appears below the caption, and I can use that to drag the text to where I want it to be. You'll see that a position is added to the caption text here. You can edit that directly for an exact position. It's in pixels from the left and top of the screen. I can test the captions with the play button below the video. The white line on the sound view shows the progress. OK, to add another caption, right click on a caption and select insert after. You can copy the previous caption and paste it if that's useful. And you can edit the position directly, and then I'll also edit the time so that the captions overlap. So you can have multiple captions on the screen at once. Now I'll just add a few more captions. Now I can test what I've got so far. Next I'll do fonts and colours. I'll make a new caption. I'm going to make this Arial 24 point bold and white. I use the edit button again to make the changes. I'll increase the caption size, make it bold and it's already white, so then OK. 
and I'll just move that to where I want it. Now if I look at the other captions, I find that they've all been changed. This is because I changed the default style. To have lots of different fonts and colours in the same video, I have to add some new styles. So go to the subtitle menu and select Styles Manager. On the right you'll see the styles in the current script. First I'll change the name of my default style. Now to add a new style press new. Now select the font you want for the style. Not all the fonts listed are recognised by YouTube but I found a few that are. I'll use Courier New here as an example. I'll make this 28 points and bold. I'll make the primary colour orange. And the secondary colour white. Uh, the outline blue. and the scale 250. Then I'll give it a good descriptive name. And press OK. Now I'll add a new caption using that style. I'll give it some descriptive text. Now select my new style from the list and I'll set the time and the position. Now I'll add a few more styles. You can have a library of styles shown on the left here. I made a few earlier and I can just add them to this script. Now they're all available for me to select for any caption. I'll add another caption for each of the new styles. Now I'll just set some times for these captions. And now I can test. So everything is working as expected. Unfortunately, EGSub can't export these captions in a format where YouTube recognises the colours and positions. So we have to save this file and then use YT Subconverter. 
So first save the file in .ass format. Now open YT Subconverter. You just drag and drop the .ass file onto YT Subconverter and then press Convert. You'll see that a .ytt file is created. This is an undocumented format that none of the other subtitle editors seem to support, but it is recognized by YouTube. We can upload that directly to YouTube. Go to your YouTube studio and then add a language for your captions. I'm going to use the Amharic for these captions. Then upload file with timing. Select your .ytt file and open. Don't edit anything here, just immediately press publish. Now we can check our video on YouTube. Make sure captions are on and select your language. The only problem I've found is that captions do move a little to make room for the toolbar if you move the cursor onto the video, but otherwise they work well. If this has been useful, it would be great if you would like and subscribe, and leave me a link to any videos you make in the comments, and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching.